this is a Mila The Solution. Oh, that's a little bit, little bit strong there, isn't it? The Solution to Dust, hopefully. S312, I think I can just about decipher, from the very battered underside of this machine. This whole machine's a little bit strange, really. I'm not really sure that we're ever going to be able to make it shiny again. But, it is living. You see, it is one of Mr. James's little projects again. The bottom is completely and utterly destroyed. So, I have this Mila Electronics 3111 Air Clean Plus sat here, which has a much nicer rear end. It is an S311i, so yeah, not even much difference between the two. The end goal of this is to have a really good meal of the solution hepper and apparently I can do what I want with the remains of this. So we'll see what happens. We'll give both a go. We're concentrating mostly on this one though. Let's see if it works and have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Yes, a very nice peppermint green Mila in front of us today. An otherwise very basic model indeed. We have power control, we have a light that comes on just after it's too late, and nothing really else. Do we even have any tools? Yes, we do. Do marvellous. We have ourselves a pretty well used. <laughs> Look at how much that's nearly worn down to the inner upholstery tool. We have a actually not as horrific considering, but still quite bad dusting brush. And a little tiny, yeah, very, 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 very worn crevice tool in there. And oh, I mean, the whole thing is just. Filthy. This is why I take backs apart, you see. You spend as much time with a bit of cloth trying to get around all those little bits of cobs. As you are just stripping the thing apart or washing it and putting it back together again, it's just quicker. So there we go, that's that. Nicey nice. What's under here? Well, being from Mr. James, it actually has a pretty much brand new, there's probably, you know, one use in there. Genuine meal of FJM, so we don't need to worry about that. There is that, ah, okay, fair enough. We have ourselves a oh, active charcoal filter, the very, very posh one, but who knows how long it's been in there. I shall double check with him in case it's not long and we can keep it. But we also have ourselves the filter cage that should go in there as well so fair enough i'll pop that back in for now and check that you know it is actually rubbish before i throw it out we'll keep that out there with no post but pre-motor filter and we have a little stone how lovely is that so yeah a nice complete if not very very filthy slightly retro meter we have a few other bits with it oh as well we have ourselves and hose and pretty nice hose it's not worn down to that bit there so that's cool we have ourselves a nice hose we have ourselves oh, a, a very nice wand as well he says locking it up yeah nice and shiny not too pitted oh i like this forehead we have the straight suction head in very nice condition there. Oh, lovely. Have a very, 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 very used Miller Parquet floor tool. Very nice indeed. We have ourselves a Miller Turbo Plus carpet turbo brush for hard floor tool. And a manual. Look at that. I say manual. We have... The operating instructions for the manual are this massive one here. And then, yeah, S300 to S, so this covers both of these. But we even have the operating instructions as well. A complete set for this machine. And we've just got to swap the bottom over and make the whole thing nice and shiny. Not too bad. 
let's see how well it works now that we have some tools to aid us in that fun. We've forgotten something as well, I realise, as we unwind the cable to plug it in. And I feel and spot a very broken, although still electrically okay, <laughs> but very broken white plug there. And then, yeah, a very used cable, I was sort of going to plug it in, and went, oh, we haven't tested the cord reel. Then I saw the plug, and here we are. Oh, fair enough, that, that works okay. Right, let's see if it explodes. Shouldn't do it, James said it works fine. Right. Oh, very nice indeed. Mint sounding motor. That is exactly what we want. Um, oh. Got the hose for the blue machine, not the not the green machine. Um, ah, that's a that's a pain, isn't it? That's not going to work until I swap all of that around now, is it? Oh, fun. Um, okay. Well, we cannot try the Mila the solution, but well, we can try this blue one out, I suppose, and see if it works based on its tools. But I do then have to obviously sop all the bits around, which I won't do now. So we shall wave goodbye to the green one. It works very well. And I'm hoping that we will see it again soon. Because I'm pretty sure ah, it just clips in and the whole lot swapped over. We shall find out. Right, well, let's move you all out of the way. And have a look at the blue one, which I think Mr. James picked up very, very cheaply for spares. It's even more basic. It doesn't even have the light look. Oh, what a common person you would be. There's no tools in it. Someone's already had those. Oh, yes, we have ourselves a filter flow suicide bag in there. Well, they look, we have, somebody has fitted a very nice pre-motor filter. They've done an excellent job of cutting it to size. Well done then. We... They didn't, however, decide to maybe look above that and spot the post motor filter was perhaps in need of the same treatment. Who knows? That will pro over there. We don't care about that. So, yes, old Bluey has not led such a happy life, has he? Oh dear, we're going to be more of a happier life soon because you're being broken for spares. So what we do, however, have a much nicer plug. So I think I shall be swapping the cord wheels over as well. Oh, right, let's unplug the green one. Plug in the blue one. Oh, it didn't turn on straight away. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's an alright thing. Nothing wrong with the blue one either then, fantastic. So they're pretty much where we were anyway. Let's put the green one over here so that we can see it. That's why that plug smashed. That's incredibly good. Shame it's rubbish. Right, eh. Oh. Put the straight suction head on and yeah. Very nice, very nice indeed. <laughs> cool. Let's try the Turbo Plus, see what state that's in. Not bad. Considering we're not even on half. Yeah, it spins but needs the usual amount of work to make it work really, really well. But yeah, works well enough, I suppose. So, we have a nice pair of needles, nice jubbly lovely pair, this one will be donating its chassis and cord reel and hose inlet and stuff, yeah they are, yeah look at that, you can because 
all of the mounting holes are in the same place for both. I'd imagine that just tucked under there will be the ones that we need for that. So excellent. I'm pretty convinced that we can swap them round indeed. Part number 4842110. Oh, that's a completely different part number. Who cares? It'll fit. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And I and this meter with some of this on it will see you soon. Oh, how hard can we smash a meter together? Very hot, very nice. Bye bye!